coming to stage right now. Please give it up for E1 Oom. Say hello to my little friend. Yeah, I got a little bag of tricks here. Let me get up. Let me take a hit really quick. <laughs> Damn. I got this little thing here. I don't know if you guys see this. Can you see this? Look, see? Happy Halloween. Boom! Hey. Okay, let me start by telling the, the voodoo dick story. I don't know if you've heard this. <laughs> uh, a long time ago, there's a businessman, right? He's on a faraway trip to a, you know exotic foreign land. And he uh, finds this magical antique shop, right? And the number one artifact in that place is the voodoo dick, right? He's heard about this, right? And he's like, you gotta sell this to me. Sell this to me, right? And he's like, no way. So I'll give you a million dollars. like, fine. So anyway, so he takes the voodoo dick home. He shows to his wife, right? His wife's like, what's this? He like, watch, check this out. Voodoo dick, the dog's ass, right? And so it jumps out of the box, starts fucking the dog's ass, right? She's like, what the hell? And he's like, yeah, isn't it cool? He's like, watch, voodoo dick, the box. And it pops out of the dog's ass, jumps back in the box, right? And he's like, look, you can use this, you know, like next time I'm on a long trip or something. And she's like, I'm not going to use that. It's gross. He's like, eh, whatever. Here, happy anniversary, whatever. <laughs> anyway, a couple months later goes by and then he goes on another long trip, right? This one's real long, you know? And after a couple months, she's like, well, that, that voodoo dick thing, right? So she goes, okay, voodoo dick, my vagina, right? And so it, go, it starts going to work, right? And then she's like, wow, this is working really good. But then she, it's been a couple months, so she forgot how to turn it off, right? So she's like, oh damn, you know, and then she's gotta go to work, right? So she puts her clothes on over it, right? She's going to work, she's like, ooh, ah, ah. The boss is like, what's going on with you? She's like, nothing, nothing, ooh, ah. He's like, no, no, there's definitely something wrong with you. What's going on? She's like, nothing, nothing at all. He's like, ah. he's like, no, you better tell me or else you're gonna get fired, right? And then so she explains it to him, you know, she's like, yeah, it's this thing called a voodoo dick. He's like, what? Voodoo dick, my ass. <laughs> yeah, I'm Danny Honda, uh, I'm born and raised in LA. I grew up mostly in Pasadena, but I come down to LA to like, you know, help my parents out on the weekends and shit. Like, you ever go to like a liquor store, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever go to a liquor store and you see some kid in the back doing homework and shit? Yeah, that, that was me, you know? Yeah, I'd have to translate for my parents sometimes. That was kind of weird, right? Because they're the parents, right? You know, I'd be like, hey, uh, hey, mom, this policeman says he's going to give you a ticket for driving too slow on the freeway. Yeah, he says you gotta go faster than 35. <laughs> yeah, I did serve in the United States Army for a couple of years. It was cool, you know. Hey. Yeah, first cavalry division, Fort Hood. It was weird being the only, only Asian person, though. You know, every day people were just looking at me like, "Are we supposed to shoot this guy?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's pretty cool. You didn't get some good benefits in the army, but probably the best benefit is the ability to give old men hard-ons. <laughs> yeah. Old men, they love hearing army stories, you know? It doesn't matter what race they are. I guess because it makes them feel younger or gives them hope for the like next future generation or whatever. But if I meet some old guy at Parker or whatever, and I start telling him army stories, I'm telling him, he'll come all over me. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to some Persian guy the other day. I was like, you're Persian? From Persia? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, where are you from? I was like, uh, the Han Dynasty? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, your uh, your parents ever beat you when you were kids and stuff? <laughs> yeah, I'm Generation X. My mom used to beat the hell out of me. You know? <laughs> she would get a coat hanger and like make me stick my hands out and fucking hit my fucking hands and shit. Yeah, I was like, what the hell kind of Chinese torture shit is this? You know what I mean? <laughs> Can't she just hit me with a belt or something? Like, what next? Are you gonna give me an algebra test? <laughs> make me carry buckets of water up a hill or something? Yeah, you know, I noticed that uh, a lot of cultures that are anti-gay are actually quite gay. <laughs> yeah. For example, Arab culture, right? They're like notoriously harsh on their LGBTQ community, yet their men openly hold hands in the street. Hmm. How hypocritical is that, right? <laughs> They're like, don't act gay! La 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 <laughs> la la. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, and Russians, like, they're, uh... Oh, I can't finish that joke, then. Never mind, then. Uh, yeah, I was watching the Oscars the other day. Did you guys see the Oscars last week or whatever? Yeah, it was cool, right? I was watching, I was like, getting excited, because like, hey, look, they're bringing back the mummy. But then I saw, I was like, oh no, that's just Al Pacino. <laughs> yeah, last joke, uh, I'm Asian, of course, and uh, Asians love Jews, you know? We, we love Jews. We're like, sensei, please teach us. 
but Jeans don't really like us too much, you know, and I think I know why. It's because of our eyes. It's because if you look, it's not that my eyes are slanted or small, it's that Asian people have an extra layer of skin over our eyelids. It's basically a foreskin, right? And you know how she feels about foreskins. So. All right, my name's you want to come out of here. Yeah.